All right, we're back on the shop build today. We're gonna do hopefully a couple of things to see how far we get. Uh, one of the most important things that we've got to get on this truck are the amp steps because climbing in and out of the trucks is no fun at all. Um, just hard to get this thing in here and get some time to do it. So today we're gonna put on some amp steps and hopefully put on the more moto boost bar, but we'll see how that goes. gonna start just getting a couple of things prepped up before we actually start working on the truck uh, put our motors on our brackets get our wiring harness put together uh, one thing we always try and do is lay everything out make sure you have everything before you get halfway through with it and realize you're missing a very key component so I'm gonna get everything prepped up real quick and then get to work on the truck motors are together going to drop the go ahead and hook this up to the battery here and run our wires down each side and get to mounting our brackets our idler arms um, start run we kind of run the electrical first that way when we get underneath it we can do everything we've got to do and I'm gonna let Grayson do this part because I don't know what I'm doing I've been doing this all the time. Yeah, Joey, remember you're young. You're too young. So got the electrical part under the hood done. Uh, we did pull the fuse out that way, you know, we don't have to worry about connections under here, touching, grounding out, things like that. Uh, next thing we've got to do is I'm going to drill the holes for the lights, and they've got that marked in the instruction on exactly where to put them. And Grayson is going to get the motor linkage and either linkage mounted up while I drill these holes and go from there. I like to do, one, be sure you got a good set of drill bits but start at the smallest one you can and just work your way up. If you try to just jump to the size that it recommends, you're gonna be here for a little while. Brought to you by CoverGirl.
just not cool. So now we've got the brackets mounted, lights are almost done, he's just sticking those and taping everything up. Um, now we just have to mount the steps to the linkage and that's what we're going to do now. You got these little, uh, these little slots here, or these little channels, hold your two bolts, there's a little channel in here so you kind of got to line that up. Kind of a little trick is, is whenever you're trying to get it lined up, you take this tool and you can actually put it through that hole and you'll be able to feel if you're actually lined up with that or not because uh, you can't really see it. It'd be kind of tricky sometimes. All right, and we'll put one in the back and whenever it kind of just is enough to hold it in place, we'll go to uh, the front you get you kind of want to pull them down at the same time that way you don't end up with this side all tight and out of whack and then you can't get the front end either Oop. okay we're not perfect all right Once you get it set up there, before you actually tighten these up, uh, they do have a measurement on exactly where the board needs to be. Uh, they want you to measure from the bracket to the end of the board. Make sure it's about five to six inches. Um, so we'll move this one in just a little bit. Uh, best thing to do, we'll just use a rubber mallet and just kind of gently knock it that way. It moves a little bit of time. But these are plastic, so you don't want to like use a metal hammer or hit them too hard and damage them. Uh, but we'll just scoot it down until it gets where it needs to be and tighten these up. Got that set, so we'll just tighten these up and pull this the rest of the way down until it sits flush in these grooves. Now we're going to remove this bottom kick panel as well as this side kick panel. That way we can run our wires up and over to the OBD2 port. Okay, so under the kick panel, right behind the OB, OBD2 port, there's a bank eight of plugs. You wanna find the light gray and the light green one. And in the light gray, you're looking for the green with a gray stripe wire. And you're gonna pop the tap into that. And for the green, you're gonna look for a green with a yellow stripe wire. Uh, the amp instructions give you really good pinouts 
uh, if you need more assistance there. Once you have the two wires running up and the two wires connected into the eight bank plug, then you want to take your OBD2 port plug and plug it in. Now you can replace all the trim. We got our two screws that hold the tail light in uh, so that we can access the wiring for the reverse light and get this thing, uh, go ahead and run some taps to it. light here. Uh, we're just going to put a T-tap on the power and ground here um, and then put these connectors on the Mormoto boost bar in and put this back in and run those wires. So on the back of this, they have this kind of recess coming out of here, and they give you a grommet on the wire end. So pretty much what we're gonna do is see exactly where this is gonna bolt up at like that, and then also, and drill a hole right there for this wire to go straight through the plastics. Um, that way, clean factory look, you don't have wires, you know, dangling down and stuff like that. All right, so. Very precise eyeball measurement. wiring in here. We've got a quick connect that we've already attached on the tail light or reverse light section. So now we'll just run this up uh, under the bed and through a little opening in that tail light to meet the other end of these wires and test it out and make sure it works. Alright so we've met our ends over here. What we're gonna do before we put this tail light all back together and everything is uh, we'll just plug it up, make sure our connections are good, make sure it works and zip tie up this extra cable kind of somewhere on the wiring harness and should be good to go. So that is pretty much it. I mean, it is as simple as pretty much four four screws all together. Uh, total install time takes about 
15-20 minutes. Super bright, super easy way to increase your backup lighting um, and not have some like cubes on it or cutting holes in your bumpers or anything like that. Uh, really and truly just a great product for pretty much anybody that just needs a little bit of help seeing at night. So got the amp steps put on. They took up really nice. Uh, not too bad of an install. I mean, it does take a little bit of electrical skill, mechanical skill. So it's a level four according to amp. So we're pretty smart. Um, but got the amp steps on. Got the more motor boost bar on. That was super simple. Uh, probably gonna start keeping those in stock and probably a ton of those because they're really really cool. Um, but that is it for today's project with this truck. If you want to see the rest of our stuff and learn a little bit more about what I was on this truck, be sure to check out our other videos and we'll see y'all in the next round.